Hey everyone, it's Young Ashline here. I'm going to show you how to make a key sight or pretty much any visualizer for your keyboard to work with your DAW at the same time. This is for people starting out and I had some trouble so I want to show you how to do it. So this is your application. You're going to go and hit the escape button and you see MIDI controller. That's your MIDI device. It's going to have a different name on it. But you'll notice while it picks up the inputs just fine, there's no sound. So, how do you make the sound play? Well, that's easy. Get out of key sight, you're going to need a couple things. Loop MIDI. Download that program. Once you've downloaded it, you're going to go ahead and extract that into the downloads folder. doesn't matter where you, whatever you, wherever you put them. You're going to open up it, and you want to auto start Loop MIDI when logging in. You can create a shortcut for it and just agree to the license terms and conditions. Install that sucker there. Once it's done installing, go ahead and launch it. This is the crucial part. Make sure you have your MIDI plugged in. You're going to name this whatever your visualizer is. I'm going to call it Keysight Visualizer. That'll be your first one. The second one you want to make is going to be your DAW. That's where the sound's going to come out. Go ahead and add that. This is all you're going to need right here. You got your visualizer and your DAW. Sound comes out, and this is going to pick up the keystrokes at the same time. Once you've done that, go ahead and close out and navigate to this ancient looking website and download MIDI OX 702 version. Go ahead and click download there. And it might flag you if you're on Windows 11 that it's a dangerous file. It's not. Just download the file. Once it's downloaded, just hit setup. After that, hit next. I agree. You can give yourself a name if you want. No company. Hit next. And now you're going to make it uh, installed for everybody that uses the computer. It does not take long. Successfully installed. After that, you're going to want to open it up. Now you open it up. Go to options and then MIDI devices. Now you see it has all the MIDI inputs. Here's my actual MIDI, and here's those two that I created. So the input is going to be the actual device. Your output is going to be the visualizer and the DAW. After that, just hit OK. And now that is all you need. It's going to work, and I'm going to show you it's going to work. All right, here's how to test if you did it correctly. Open up Keysight again. You're going to see MIDI device not bound. That's OK. Press the Escape key. You're going to go back to your MIDI right here. Live input MIDI device instead of none. Make that the key site visualizer. Great. Now it's mapped. So now you hit escape again. You should now play keys on your piano. And you're like, okay, there's no sound. But there's visualization. That's the first step. So now go ahead and switch out and open up your DAW. The DAW I'm going to use today is Music Maker. This is a free one. You can use any DAW, does not matter. I'm going to go ahead and open up Music Maker. All right, I've got Music Maker open. I've already got a piano here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and go to File, Settings, Program Settings, Audio MIDI, and change the input device to the one we created called DAW, and hit OK. So now you have sound. You're going to go right back into key site here. And we configured this correctly. And now watch. We've got sound and we've got visuals. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped.